Alright, so for today's video, I'm going to be going over five sneakers that I hope to cop in 2020. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video to see which sneaker I want to pick up the most this year. And now let's get right into it. So starting off with number five on the list, it's going to be the Jordan 6 DMP. This is one of the only shoes that I know that's coming out in 2020 that I know is going to be a must cop for me. The Jordan 6 DMP is definitely one of my favorite colorways of the Jordan 6. My all-time favorite Jordan 6 colorway is the black infrareds, and these look very similar to that. They just have gold instead of the infrared. And originally, these released as a pack with the Jordan 11s, and I've almost bought this pack before. But I'm not really the biggest fan of 11, so I've kind of held off just because I'd want to get the entire pack. But now that they're releasing the 6s as a separate release, I know I have to get these because those are my favorite from the pack. And I don't really want the 11s. So hopefully I'll be able to cop these this year. They release, I think, the day before my birthday. So I think that'd be a really nice birthday gift for myself if I'm able to get them. And that's it for number 5. Now on to number 4. All right, so number four on the list is going to be a pair of the New Balance 997. So I don't really know too much about these, but all I know is they look really clean on feet. And I've always wanted a pair of New Balances, and this is probably my favorite model that I've seen of the New Balances so far. So hopefully in 2020, I'll be able to pick up a nice colorway of them. I haven't really seen too many like release colorways that I like, but they do allow you to customize your own on New Balances websites. So maybe I'll have to do that. Maybe I can come up with a nice red and black colorway because I haven't seen too many of those that have released. So that's it for number four. Now moving on to number three. All right, so number three on the list is going to be the Asics Gelite 3s. This is probably my favorite Asics silhouette besides the Gelite 5s. And I already own a pair of the Gelite 3s, but I definitely want to get another one just because I like them so much. And I read that this year is the 30th anniversary of the Gelite 3, so hopefully Asics releases some really nice colorways of them. I know the Sean Weatherspoon ones are rumored to drop this year, so if those release, I might have to pick up a pair of those just because they look really sick. And they give you a ton of Velcro Asics logos that you can switch to whichever ones you want, so I think that's really cool. I really like when a shoe has a bunch of customizable features on it, so hopefully I'll be able to pick those up in 2020, but they'll probably be really hard to get, so I'd probably have to pay resale for them. If I can't pick up those, one of the other colorways I'd want to get is those red A few Koi ones. I don't know if you've seen those before, but those are really hard to find in my size, so that's a super expensive shoe, but maybe this year I'll be able to pick it up hopefully i'll be able to find it for pretty cheap but they're really rare so it might be really hard number three was the a6 jelly three so now on to number two and for number two on the list it's going to be the kobe fives and i know for 2020 they're going to be releasing a lot of kobe fives this year just because they're doing the pro tro model and probably my favorite pro tro model that is released so far has been the 2k one so maybe i'll try to pick those up this year they're kind of expensive in my size right now, so maybe I'll wait and see if they go down to like the 300, 350 mark. But if they keep staying at the price they are, another one I'll try to pick up is the Kobe 5 Preludes. And that's probably my favorite Kobe 5 that's ever released. And those are also pretty hard to find in my size for a decent price, so I'll just have to keep a lookout for those. If I could pick up the Kobe 5 Big Stage and the Away colorway, if I can ever find those in my size, those are so sick. Those are so nice. That's probably one of my other favorite Kobe 5s, but those are super expensive. So I'll also have to keep an eye out on those. Kobe 5s are my number two must cop for this year. And now moving on to number one. And now the number one shoe that I hope to cop in 2020 is going to be the Off-White Vapor Maxes in the OG colorway. This is one of three of my favorite Off-White shoes of all time. And the first two are the OG Prestos and the other pair of black Vapor Maxes. I own both of those. So the OG colorway of the Vapor Maxes is the last one I need just to have all three of my favorite off-white shoes. So hopefully 2020 will finally be the year that I'm able to find them. And I haven't been able to find a used pair of these in a size 13 and probably close to a year now. So they've been really hard to find. I've looked pretty much like at least once a week just to see if one has popped up on eBay or Grailed. So Hopefully in 2020 someone finally lists a pair so I'm able to get them and hopefully they're not trying to charge like two grand for them since that's usually what they go for in my size now. So hopefully I'll get lucky and I'll be able to find a pair for a good price. So that is it for my list of top five sneakers that I hope to get in 2020. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below what shoe you would like to get the most in 2020. I'd be really interested to hear what your sneaker goals are for this year. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.